kweli kutoka kwenye utoto wangu atisti tuseme kama nilikuwa nimeisaa kujua mambo ya kimwengu na ya kidunia mazingira niliyokuta hapa sasa hapa kuna mabadiliko makubwa tena makubwa kutokana na huku nyuma kwa sababu nyuma kulikuwa na msitu tuseme msitu ya kiasili tena vile vile wakati ule ilikuwa mvua inapatikana kwa kila wakati kwa sasa hivi hiyo yote hamna tunapata kwa kundu ama tunapata kwa bahati tu na sifikiri sisi binadamu tumeathiri na nini hii mambo sasa msitu tulifieka miti tumefieka ni kufieka mwisho wa mwisho inakuwa mipara kama jinsi unavyoona mipara huku mipara huku vinaonekana wazi wazi Tobias Benagula is one of several million farmers across Africa who are suffering from these all too familiar problems of population growth, deforestation, overgrazing and unsustainable farming practices. More recently, there has been a devastating addition to this already dangerous cocktail, and that is global warming. Ni miaka hii ya karibuni tumeona hali ya hewa imebadilika na kukawa na hali ambayo ni jua kali. Kama hali hii itaendelea kama ilivyo sasa, kwanza sisi wenyewe, jamii nzima, wanyama, miti yenyewe, kila kitu naona kitaweza kuwa katika hali ambayo itakuwa ni ngumu zaidi. 50 years ago, this important ecological location of Kagera in Tanzania was covered in forest, flourishing lakes and rivers. Today, it's a victim of mass deforestation due to the need for fuel wood and farmland. Without the trees, water resources have dried up and soil erosion has stripped the land of precious nutrients and caused lakes and rivers to silt up or die from eutrophication. With the majority of the people here dependent on the land and already earning less than two US dollars a day, the loss of these resources is steadily leading to an inability to survive on this once productive land on which they were born. But this desperate situation can be reversed. To help these farmers restore this land and begin to improve their own lives and livelihoods, the Swedish-based organization Vi Agroforestry has been introducing sustainable farming practices that aim to reduce poverty and protect the environment. Agroforestry systems help farmers by creating a more sustainable environment in which to farm. The trees protect the water table, increase soil fertility through their roots and leaf litter, provide a natural mulch which protects the soils from erosion, and increases productivity through nutrient recycling and shade. The agroforestry only promotes the use of native and naturalized trees, which ensure biodiversity is improved and watersheds are protected. The trees also provide a means for farmers to obtain another income from their farm. Timber, fruit, medicines and fuel wood are all vitally important ways to diversify a farmer's income. What is more, by having their own sustainable source of fuel wood, regional forests are being protected from deforestation and the planting of trees is further helping to absorb carbon in the atmosphere. This is of critical importance in a country where 93% of energy consumption comes from biomass, and that is principally trees. It was this recognition of the global environmental service these farmers were providing by planting trees on their farms that led V Agroforestry to join forces with a British-based organization known as Plan Vivo. Plan Vivo is a system of rewarding and promoting small-scale farmers around the world for planting trees. Unlike other carbon credit projects, which are more about trees and people, Plan Vivo targets both. Currently there's a lot of money going around in the world on um, mitigation of uh, climate change. But uh, for, for us in the third world, or uh, in developing countries, adaptation to climate change is more important to people. 
than uh, mitigation. Climate change is affecting more the, the poor people and they have very limited capacity to adapt. So um, Plan Vivo is designed in a way to partly mitigate climate change but also to help the communities adapt to effects of climate change. There are a number of different ways farmers can participate in the Plan Vivo project. Planting woodlots, sequester the most carbon and have the greatest impact on biodiversity on land that would otherwise have been left barren and degraded. Dispersed interplanting, where trees are grown amongst a farmer's crops, follow woodlots in the amount of carbon they absorb. Next are fruit orchards. And finally, boundary planting, where trees are planted along the edge of an agricultural field or property. To determine which system would be most suitable for the type of land a farmer has, it's first thoroughly assessed by a field officer, who will also establish a baseline from which to work. This will determine how much carbon the land is likely to be sequestering prior to any intervention, and give a starting point from which to calculate any increase in carbon sequestration following the planting of trees. Fierson Katoto was one of the earliest converts to Plan Vivo. He has planted 975 trees on a previously barren piece of land in Nyabiondo, one of Kagera's most seriously deforested areas. Fierson was shown how he could grow maize alongside the trees for the first few years of their lives. The trees provide his crop with extra nitrogen, help retain water in the soil, and help stabilize the soil, preventing erosion. Having been one of the first to sign up to Plan Vivo in Tanzania, Fearson became a member of the Jehudi group. All 23 farmers in this group are registered on the Plan Vivo project and are planting trees on their farmlands. Ashri Mungareza is the group's chairman. Kutokana na hali ya hewa inayochafuka na mimi ninakuwa mmoja wapo kuweza kudai kuirekebisha na jinsia vizuri kutokana na uh, elimu ambayo nimepewa na Plan Vivo na uwezeshwaji ambao eh, baadhi yetu wamepewa. Kwa hiyo inanifurahisha kiasi kwamba ina imani kwamba baada muda fulani eh, Mwenyezi dunia inaweza kuwa imerudi katika hali nzuri. The work these farmers have done is documented back in the Viagra Forestry Office, where the number of trees that have flourished on their farms are recorded. A simple calculation determines just how much carbon each farmer's trees would be expected to sequester over a 10-year period, and how much money they'll be due for this ecosystem service. Recently, the group received its first payment from Plan Vivo. They receive five of these carefully calculated installments over 10 years. In this way, Plan Vivo projects have channeled millions of dollars to poor rural communities and established and conserved thousands of hectares of forest. Tobias Benagula is one of Plan Vivo's greatest supporters. He has planted over 500 trees on two hectares and has received his first installment along with the rest of the Jehudi group. <laughs> tena nilipopokea hizo pesa nikazipata hapa ni kama mtu anakukumbusha leo kufundisha kuona hii ni pesa hii ni hii miti ni pesa Tobias's youngest son 12 year old Kevin was one of the main beneficiaries of the Plan Vivo funds previously unable to afford to buy Kevin a uniform or pay his fees the money has meant his young son can continue to receive an education this system is clearly making a difference, but with around a third of greenhouse gas emissions coming from land use change, there is an urgent need to initiate new projects and continue to support existing ones. Zaidi zaidi ningeomba kama pranivivu wadivu jitokeza, basi watokema kampuni mengi ilu kweza kuinusuru dunia. Ya kweza kusapoti jamii kama jamii kwa sababu badu wali kutunazo za kutosha, Watu wanazo kwezesho zaidi, wakapanda miti kwa angiri. 
tukaondokana na hii tatizo tulionayo kwa kweli mti ni kitu kizuri kuliko zao lote katika nchi yetu Tanzania mimi ah, katika mkoa wetu wa Kagera hata katika Karagwe niseme zao linalo limwa tunakaa lakini inakutupa lakini mti mimi nikuja kufanyia utafiti wake na utafsiri wake ukilima mti utakuwa tajiri mmoja wapo katika matajiri utakuwa milioni kweli